What's going on this morning, guys? I'm going to do a real quick review on a product I wasn't really planning to get, but I picked up uh, yesterday, uh, and I kind of like it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, or at least what I know. I left my tripod camera holder thing in my other truck that's at the shop, so I'm going to gonna wing this out the best I can. All right, it's going to be real quick. Stay tuned. equipment has come a long way over the last several years um this is the first piece of like i mean i've got sprayers and obviously we've all had cordless drills and stuff like that for ages but uh this is a uh steel hsa 56 uh like a d-handled hedge trimmer um and it comes with the AK-10 battery, which is kind of the entry level battery that they have. This is the smallest battery that they have. And they go up another level for the more commercial type tools. But uh, pretty slick setup. It just snaps in like that. And it's got a life indicator on it. And it comes with a charger and all. But uh, as with most steel hedge trimmers, it's got a great looking blade on it and it actually cuts really well I trimmed up all the hedges in front of my house yesterday with this and the battery still had a couple of bars on it so I mean and that took me about 45 minutes of run time actually I think so I, I'd, I'd say you might get 45 minutes to an hour run time out of this battery but they make two upgrade size batteries for this and then some of the more commercial uh grade stuff this is like the the middle homeowner one i guess but it i mean it cuts really well but i you know a hedge trimmer like this even in the business i've, I've had i don't even know how many gas power ones but you don't use it very often because you mainly just are going to be doing light work on smaller shrubs with this and for bigger stuff you break out the uh, pole uh, pruners but you know the death of a gas piece is if you don't run it a lot if it sits for a while it, it, it has trouble but this thing probably won't mind that um so I'll just show you real quick it's got a like a safety button you push up and you just squeeze that and you're a trimming um, I've got some giant overgrown Laura Pedalum back here, which is uh, probably more of a job than this thing would typically go up against. But hell, we're gonna put it to the test, man. So I'm gonna try to set the camera up somewhere and uh, dive into this uh, Laura Pedalum and see what I can do with it. Versus the steel, what is this thing called? The HSA 56.
I don't know how that looked, but I mean, I did that trim and it's still got the full battery life. I mean, I can go down a little further. It, uh, if you whack it into some of the bigger stuff and I, I'll bring a branch up and show you, it'll, it'll choke it. But if you kind of ease it into it, it'll kind of saw it down. I, I don't know if you could tell the, the little maple tree growing up through the middle of it, it cut it down. But I'll uh, bring some of the uh, pieces up and show you how big they are. Let's do this, let's take you to it. See stuff that big, it, it cut. And I mean, a, a gas one wouldn't have much trouble with that. Let me see if I can find the maple tree I cut down in it. That. Oh, well, I still got some work to do on this, but it kind of gives you the general idea of uh, what this thing can do. Like I said, this is kind of the middle of the road uh, homeowner tool here, but I'm, it's for around the house, for any kind of job you'd use a gas trimmer of that size for, I think it would be just fine. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with it enough that I'm gonna um, go ahead over to my steel dealer. While it's small engine in Red Oak, North Carolina, the premier Bobcat Walker dealer in Red Oak. For what that's worth. Um, I'm gonna go over there and order the uh, extend the uh, telescoping battery powered hedge trimmer. And uh, that that tool should be really cool, but it uses a completely different battery system. The uh, the more uh, commercial type stuff uses uh, different uh, lithium ion batteries. It's gonna have a different charger and all that. So, but I got I'll go price all that out and see see what it will, will cost me. And I, I believe I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um, and like I said, telescopes. So that'd be really cool for trimming stuff like this and other tall bushes and I, I believe i could use that in my business with no problem uh but anyway the little uh what is it called the hsa 56 um i'm impressed uh like i said battery stuff's come a long way i guess it's the future i guess we'll have to embrace embrace it i'm still not getting a battery powered car or truck or lawnmower right now anyway but Anyway, the little little hedge trimmer is great, and uh, especially if you were a homeowner and did not run something like that very often, and even in the business, I don't run that style of hedge trimmer very often, and less and less now because I just I just hate trimming bushes. So, I mean, but anyway, the death of gas-powered stuff is is not using it um, because it, it it doesn't it doesn't like to sit. But this battery stuff, man, has come a long way. I'm impressed. So. That's my two cents worth on it. I, I recommend it. The steel HSA 56 and the full line of uh, there's some lesser products they have. And then they've got some stuff that moves right on up the chain, right on up to uh, wearable backpack batteries that can last all day and interchange with with different pieces. But uh, they're stepping up the game in battery power. So, again, this is not a review of my hedge trimming skills i just wanted to give you an idea of what the thing could cut through i'm pretty impressed so you know advantages to a battery powered piece like this obviously it's super light and quiet and you don't have to worry with gas and oil mix and you don't have to worry about the gas going stale and you don't have to worry about cranking it and all that stuff so if the if i mean if it holds up and all it's it's a great alternative. And I mean, a tool like this would be all a homeowner would ever need. And uh, it's well built. It's a steel, yo. Come on, man. Oh, I squeeze this. But uh, there you go. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. And uh, Try some of this stuff out. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. I recommend it.